it's more or less a done deal. Expect fuel prices to get jacked up again as the conflict in Eastern Europe shows no signs of slowing down. Add to that the U.S. oil import ban on Russia. Question is, by how much exactly are pump prices expected to increase? For those updates, we talk via Zoom to News 5 correspondent Shaila Francisco. Shaila, good evening. So some posts online are already showing a possible 12 peso increase. Is that true? Gretchen will some industry sources say it can even go as high as 13 pesos per liter for diesel, while gas prices may surge by 8 pesos per liter. This comes as oil prices in the world market reach its highest level since 2008 on Monday amid the oil import ban by U.S. on Russia. But the Energy Department clarifies nothing set in stone yet. After all, they've only accounted for two of five trading days. They're also on wait and see mode as to how prices will fare for the next three days to fully determine what the increase will be next week. So it may be lower than 12 pesos, but there's also a possibility of that going higher. And in relation to that, uh, Petrogas will implement a rollback beginning 6 a.m. tomorrow, March 10, until 11.59 p.m. of March 13. They say this is to minimize the impact on consumers, especially with the looming price increase next week. Gretchen, Robbie? Mm, Shaila, how are motorists taking this series of massive hikes? Ano na, ano na ba ang diskarte ng mga motorista? Robbie, some consumers are now strategizing to save up. Others I've seen are stocking up on fuel as early as now, while others are buying ahead through the application called Price Lock. Now, this allows someone to buy fuel at the current price and load it up later once price increases take effect. Some motorists say they even get to save as much as 12 pesos per liter using the app. We were able to talk to one of its users, and here's what she had to say. Sobrang laking tipid sa akin, lalo na sa trabaho. Pag nakakagala ako, kahit less hassle. Mas madali siya pagka bumabiyahe ako. Mamimili ka kung sang station, uh, mas mura. Then doon ka makakapipiliin uh, mo kung ano yung ikakarga mo. Bala ko pa rin bukas is makabili ulit para mas malaki yung matipid ko. Compare sa sunod na ano, kung lalaki pa siya. Robbie, the Energy Department clarifies there is nothing wrong with stocking up on fuel, but they advise against panic buying and hoarding as this could disrupt local supply and may create a possible or a temporary shortage of fuel. Robbie Gretchen? Shaila, you've spoken to people on the ground. What about the private sector? How are they bracing for the impact of the increasing prices of fuel? Gretchen, well, earlier today, uh, Metro Pacific Chairman Manny V. Pangilinan did speak to the media and he gave an honest assessment on how the current crisis may affect their businesses. One that could be heavily hit is the tollways business as uh, rising fuel costs uh, may mean lower volume of vehicles. Now, for Meralco, he says Meralco's revenue and bottom line may not be directly affected, but it could impact the demand for power. Let's listen in on his assessment on how it will affect the other businesses. It could impact on, on the demand for electricity uh, if, if, if power rates uh, go up. Felix uh, mining will be a beneficiary uh, because you know that uh, metal prices have, have as well been impacted by uh, overall uh, geopolitical situations. Uh, I think very little impact on water, on telco, uh, not much, uh, because most of our revenues are driven by domestic demand. Thank you. 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 Thank you.